G'day Reefers, I'm Kevin the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. Today we're going to be taking you to Acromagic Corals. Acromagic Corals are one of the new fraggers in town. We've been selling their frags at Gallery Aquatica and they've been really, really popular. Today we're going to show you the mother colonies and we're going to be taking some of the frags back to the shop. So this is Acromagic Reef and you may remember this uh, reef from a, a video we did last year called Fully Lit Reef and we called it that because we installed a couple of extra hydras on this tank. So now this tank has got six hydras and that's one of the reasons why all of these acros are doing so well. The other reason why they're doing so well is because the reefer from Acromagic Frags is really good with his positioning of the corals and each of these colonies is positioned in a way that they're getting full light from the hydras, but also so that they're layered and positioned beautifully perched on the rockwork. And the layout, the aquascape of this tank is sensational. Let's just have a look at some of the colonies of the acro in this tank, because a lot of these colonies are going to be coming with us today as frags back to Gallery Aquatica. So, a couple of my favorites and We've really struggled to get the color just right, but a couple of my favorites in this tank are these uh, big pink tabular uh, acro columns. This one at the top there is sensational. Uh, I should also mention there's a few bird's nests. We've got a uh, purple tip acro over here. There's a really nice green base purple tip that's encrusted fully over the, the rock on this ledge here. And then we've got some different colors. There's a real yellow with a purple coralites up the top there. That's, that's one of the ones we'll be taking with us today, definitely. Uh, we've got some purple, some uh, pink, uh, there's uh, strawberry shortcakes, there's a variety of uh, acros in this tank. Now you can see we've got the frag racks on the side. We're gonna be looking at a closer, we'll have a closer look at the frags in a minute. Um, because these are what we'll be taking with us back to Gallery Aquatica. We'll just have a quick look underneath the tank before we take the hood off and look at the lighting system. So really, as far as the filtration goes on this tank, it's relatively basic. We have a sump with a refugium, we've got a, a Nios, it's only a Nios 160. So it's not a particularly large skimmer, but this tank runs particularly low nutrients. Um, it's very rare we get a, a nitrate or a phosphate reading on this tank. We've got an automatic top-up system. There's a UV sterilizer. You can see the, the dosing pump. Uh, this tank runs Triton, of course. Um, we've got uh, Acro Power on the doser. Um, everything is relatively straightforward. And I was talking to the reefer uh, who looks after this tank about what he believes the reason for his success is with the tank. And I think the fact that he tests his water every single day, especially the KH, is one of the big reasons. The stability of the parameters on this system is excellent. Given that it's running Triton, of course, it's, it's quite easy to get that stability, uh, but testing every day makes a big difference. I also think the water flow is one of the keys. Uh, there's, Jesus, there's so many wave makers. I can see at least uh, four gyres. There's a couple of other, like there's a Rosemont, that sort of thing. But the other big reason is the lighting. So we'll take the helmet off and we'll check out those hydras. How good is this lighting system? We've got our six Hydra 52s and they're all on a rail that can be slid across. We've got them specifically spaced so that they're not directly above the cross bridges of glass that support this tank. But they are lighting the tank beautifully. Uh, the one thing that we're going to add at some point is a couple of 
uh, supplementary blue LEDs. We're going to use Vita Minis, Loom Magic Vita Minis, and they're going to run at the front and the back. But the lighting is one of the big reasons why this tank does so well and the acros are thriving and growing. Okay, so the way we're going to be transporting our frags today are with these really cool little 3D printed frag racks that we sell. We just sell these at the shop. Uh, they're relatively inexpensive. They fit perfectly in a bucket. And uh, we can actually thank one of our other fraggers for these, uh, Delzel frags. So they're really good. So I need three of those, three buckets. I'll fill our buckets with a little bit of water. Is our first little rack of Acro Magic Frags. Perfect. Love these ones. They're good size frags too, and you can see they're properly encrusted. The idea of selling frags really is all about ensuring that they're properly encrusted that they're grown onto their frag plug and this is exactly what you want to see that's how you sell frags So we've got all of our Acromagic frags out, ready to be taken back to Gallery Aquatica. You'll see these for sale in the store in the next week or two. So uh, that's Acromagic Reef. And as you can see, it's a beautiful reef. Everything is thriving with really good color. Um, the only thing that's a little bit disappointing is that we've really struggled to show the true color of the corals on film. So what we'll do in future is we'll take some really nice macro photos with our coral uh, photo camera and you know some nice close-ups so that you can really appreciate just how nice these frags are but that's our video for today so thank you so much for watching gallery aquatic tv i'm cam the fish guy happy reefing that's our video for today if you enjoyed it don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you've subscribed to our channel so you don't miss an episode of gallery aquatic tv Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing.